Hi, I'm Isabel Ringer from the San Diego Derby Dolls, and today we're going to work on some bank track basics. We're going to work on using the bottom couple inches of the track. So first, we're going to practice skating on and off the coping and get comfortable with that and the idea that the bank track is finite and that you do leave that space. And then we're going to work on skate techniques to hold ourselves on those bottom few inches of the track. We're going to practice working on the coping and just getting comfortable going on and off the track. For those of you guys that skate outside, it's how most people go right off a curb. You don't jump, you don't step, you just roll right off. To start, you'll start at a really wide angle and you'll stagger your feet so that you can relieve the weight down one foot at a time. No stepping, no jumping. Then from a higher portion on the track, with less staggered feet. Once you do all of those positions about a million times, you're going to start feeling good about what's going on on the inside of the track, and you're not going to have to worry about falling off that coping. So let's move on and let's practice the skating techniques. We're on the track, the gray area, all in play up here. The blue coping area, also all in play. You only become out of play when some part of your skater body touches this infield. So you're welcome to skate right on this coping. So we're going to practice a couple techniques to do that. First, we're going to practice the most simple of the techniques, which is really just letting your left foot go over that coping and feeling that ridge and being okay with it. Then we're going to keep our left foot right at the coping while our right foot is pumping, keeping us down in those bottom few inches of the track. Then lastly, we're going to practice left over right crossovers. You're always on a hill and it's always pulling you down toward that infield. So you've got to do a skating motion to hold yourself onto the track. So let's start with the first one. We're going to start with just skating with our left foot swinging over that coping. On to the next technique, left foot planted down by the coping while right foot is pumping. On to the last technique, left foot crossing over the right foot. Here's the thing, it doesn't matter if you fall off the track. That means you went all the way to the edge where you knew how to skate and then you went a little further past that. That's okay, you'll slowly dial it back and figure out where you can and can't skate on. What's not okay is to feel super comfortable the whole time. That means you're not pushing it, you're not going far enough around the edge of that coping. It should always feel a little bit hinky when you're practicing it, that's how you know that you're practicing it well. You can start with the easiest techniques and then work your way up to the harder ones. Those reverse crossovers, you use them all the time in bank track roller derby to hold yourself up on that hill. So practice them over and over again and then when you're playing the game you're not going to have to think about it. There's some techniques to practice working on using those bottom few inches of the bank track. Get really comfortable going on and off the coping and then practice those skate techniques over and over and over again. It's a great part of any warm up or any cool down and the more you do it the more comfortable you're going to get playing bank track roller derby. That's it. I'm Isabel Ringer from the San Diego Derby Dolls.